took like an hour to get our bag. Painful. It was painful. And I didn't sleep on the flight, so I'm a little hurting. Hurting. So it's like 12.30, um, 12.40 Cairo time. It's like 4.40 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Five so. Like five in the morning, so. We're gonna go back to the hotel, maybe take a nap. And then we have a welcome dinner. And then whatever we wanna do. Shisha? Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can find a drink somewhere. Good luck with that. No. I don't think they let women drink. <laughs> <laughs> I messed up. Again, I think you forgot my name. My name is Hossam, H-O-S-S-A-M. As I told you, we are here for your help, but without your help, we can't help you, okay? Again, thank you for your patience. And uh, as I told you, I am exciting as you to enjoy with you, especially from tomorrow to begin our adventure. It's your hotel, Marriott Cairo. You can? Oh, okay. There's the Nile. It feels like we're in New York, kind of. Well, you know, maybe. Oh, it's the Arabic writing. And yeah. Uh-oh, I see hookahs. Hookahs. Yeah, whatever's going on tonight, I'm partying with them. <laughs> well, maybe it's for like a wedding or something. See the hookahs? Yeah. It smells like a um, nail polish remover in our room, though. Oh, that was a lot of mosques. The room's okay. I mean, it's fine. It just really smells very strongly like nail polish remover. So this is a room. Just kind of like, you know, it's spacious. It's, you know, it's just kind of like, you know, old school. Let's turn on the bathroom. Oh, we got the little bidet going on. And, yeah. So we're going to wait for our bags, wait for our bags, take a nap for sure. Dinner's at 6 p.m. So we have a good, maybe we can get a good two hour nap in. Sleepy time! You sleepy babe? Yeah, I'm sleepy. Okay, well as soon as these bags are here, it's night time. See you at dinner! Okay, we just woke up from our um, two and a half hour nap. Much needed. I feel way better. I'm still a little bit groggy, but I feel like I'm alive. <laughs> so we're headed to our welcome dinner with our tour group now. I didn't really do much. I'm wearing the exact same outfit. <laughs> Just jeans, leggings, and a white long sleeve shirt. I threw on this scarf. I get an old scarf I have from an old boutique in Atlanta. But I feel like it kind of dresses up my outfit a little bit. Let's see, look, just jeggings and some toms. But, um, you know, here everybody is wearing scarves anyways, like around their heads, around their shoulders, so I figure it kind of helps me be a little bit more conservative. And my hair I had, like, done a whole week ago, and it's still nice and curly. So it looks a lot better than it did in my little messy bun. So we're going to go get dinner and then hopefully exchange some of our American dollars for U.S. No, American dollars for Egyptian pounds and pay for um, an external, an extra optional tour to this really cool sounding place called Saqqara, which is like a, a like boat ride to a, like an island, which has amazing ruins, so. We will be doing that, and then I don't know if we're going to just go back to sleep after this, but we're definitely going to eat because my stomach is feeling it. So, we'll see y'all. We made it to dinner after being lost <laughs> in five different lobbies. So, it looks like it's just hummus. I think that might be falafel, little sambusas, or what? Something like that. And some pita. Okay, here's our entree. Yum, yum, yum. It's a lot of food. I didn't realize there was an entree. I was just eating hummus like a crazy person because it was so good. Um, so we'll see how much of that cooks in my tummy. Look at this cute little dessert. I think this is baklava. I'm not sure what this is. I'm gonna have 
it's like bite-sized dessert, which is perfect because I like to try a lot of things. So I'm gonna start off with this little thing right here. This is all like looks like a little furry thing. <laughs> like it reminds me of cousin it from Adam's family. Like shredded wheat. Oh yeah, like shredded wheat. Mm -hmm. I know we are hmm? we are going to that's good. I wonder if that green one pistachio or something. Yeah. Alright, let's try this one right now. My shredded wheat just came apart. Mm -hmm. It tastes almost like trisache a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then this one's more of a flat. It tastes like the same thing as the other one I just ate. Mm -hmm. And then the baklava. The big piece. So I have four words for you. <laughs> I got a remedy. I got a remedy. <laughs> so the Egyptian pound is like eighteen. Addition pound to one US dollar, which is in favor of US. So we just got like 200 bucks just spending cash. And um, FYI, if you stay in like the Marriott, which I'm sure they do this in other like major hotels, they have banks here. They have two banks here. And they'll like they have a whole bunch of gift shops. They have a bank and stuff like that. The bank is open 24 hours a day, so you can exchange money whenever you want. So it's like 11 o'clock. We definitely like they were just there. They look kind of sad and bored. <laughs> So, we got some Egyptian pounds, so, um, Adrian and I went to the gym, which was really rough, because I had to wake myself up after dinner, <laughs> I fell asleep, and then I ran on the treadmill, ran and walked for about 50, 50 minutes, and then we went to this little area, it's kind of like a, a loungy restaurant inside the hotel, where we did shisha and had a dessert, which was delicious. The dessert kind of tasted like um, funnel cake and roti mix with powdered sugar and honey. And then um, we both had um, a drink. I had some Egyptian wine. Adrian had limoncello. And then we had shisha, lemon and mint hookah. And it was good. They had some live music. That was really fun. Did you have a good time, honey? I did. It was great. What was your favorite part? I like the music. Yeah. Music and the shisha. Yeah. It was like we spent about, he got, how many drinks did you got? Two drinks? Two drinks. Two drinks. Wine. I got like a, little, a mini carafe of wine, a dessert, and a shisha, and we spent 50 bucks. So, eh. It's not dirt cheap, but it's not like crazy. And um, the service was excellent. So you can hear he took video of it. So I'm going to pack our bags for the pyramids tomorrow. Woo -woo. And we're going to wake up at 5 in the morning. 5, 5.30. Breakfast is at 6. And then we're hopping on the tour bus at 7 o'clock in the a.m. So we can beat traffic and get on this pyramid stuff. Pack my little bag because I'm such a... <laughs> I like to be prepared. I'm going to pack my selfie stick, snacks, water, um, and all that for tomorrow. And that's it. So we'll see you guys in the a.m. Good night. Buenos noches. Bon nuit. Good morning. So it's day two in Cairo. It's about 5.40 in the morning. And getting ready to go downstairs for breakfast. The hotel, um, with my tour, they always give you free breakfast. So we totally take advantage of that. Because that's a free meal. And when you're traveling, that kind of stuff adds up. So if you can get a free meal, especially in the beginning of the day, it's a good thing. So let me go ahead and throw some makeup on, and I'll see y'all at breakfast. On our way to breakfast. Good morning. Does it look like we're going to climb some pyramids today? Uh, slightly. Yeah. I hope the council climbs some pyramids today. I got, like, some workout pants on because I was, like, I was watching those Egypt vlogs, and those pyramids are, like, 
the steps between them look thick, like, shoot, maybe like three and a half feet or something crazy. So off to get breakfast. Now we know where we're going. Oh, can you swipe your card? We gotta go to Lana G. Isn't it G? That's where we were yesterday. Yeah, we, we shouldn't need it for G. Mm, I hit it and it went in and ran. Ground floor. Going up. It's quiet because it's like 6 in the morning. People will probably waking up now. See you that way. Ooh, it is a little bit chilly out. A nice hotel. This is where we were last night doing shisha and wine. And now we're gonna go eat breakfast. And it's pretty outside. They have like a lot of patio tables. It's just a little bit chilly at night. But there was some fire pits. The Alatol Yallop in this area. Okay, got an omelet station. Got bread. I gotta chill on these breads because they make me so bloated. Fruit. Morning. You hate when you say good morning to people and they just look at you. Hmm. All right, so that meat, um, vegetables. Ooh, vine leaves. We got those uh, imitation looking eggs again. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, yummy. That looks like the rice we had last night. Beef. Oh, this is cool how they have the limes and lemons and the little squeeze pads. So they don't hit you. Dessert. Yeah, I mean, I feel like in a lot of countries you don't only eat breakfast, so you eat regular food all of at breakfast too. Omelette with a grape leaf. Smoked salmon, kitchen, chicken sausage, sesame paste, hummus, couscous and vegetables, and guava juice. Yum. Made it to the pyramid. Amazing. The closer you get, the more you appreciate it, huh? Yeah. This is so awesome. It really doesn't do justice in here. See, I told you they put the uh, the hats on people. I'm not sure I'm in. This is amazing. So we did the pyramid. Let's get the better leg. What did, did you think about the pyramid? It was great. It was great. A little bit tired, a little bit of exercise, but it was good. So what they don't tell you is you have to like pretty much go about 150 feet, crouch down in a narrow hallway where you really can't stand up and it's so no air in there. So we are like, oh, this is tough going up. And then what we didn't realize is you have to go the exact same way down. Mm -hmm. One way up, one way down. And you, so one person's going up, one person's going down. It's only like five feet high and like maybe four feet wide. So, so people if, were freaking out. If you're six feet or better, you're gonna have yeah. to crawl. <laughs> people were like yelling at each other in there because they're like, "Are you going? You need to go!" Because they were freaking out because it was tight, it was sweaty, 
and there's not a lot of space and I'm like, yo, if you if you claustrophobic, you cannot go in those pyramids. Yeah. But, you but it was to, fun though. I, I was like, I really enjoyed it and I mean, inside it was an empty room, but it was still cool just making it to the end. Mm -hmm. So you have to pay about $15 to get inside the pyramid besides the entrance fee to get in the area of the pyramid. So, but it's worth $15 for sure. Make sure you do your stretches and your exercises yeah. before you we'll go in We'll see if we fill <laughs> these pyramid legs tomorrow, but I've been doing my 20,000 steps challenge, so I think I'm good. Yay! Joe, that so, must be your baby camera. Okay, from here, you can take, you see the camera and the things in the background. If you want to walk a little bit this way, if you want to go where they are standing, you can see here the illusion I was telling you about. So here's the panel view um, that they take you to for the pyramids. So you can see all three pyramids of Giza. Pretty amazing. Can you see the Sphinx? I'm ready. And there's the Sphinx. Sphinx. Look at that big honking thing. Oh yeah, yours is bigger than mine. Alright, so that, 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 that. Breeze. Harry. Hi. Nice to meet you. I am Sema. I'm here as a local guide for you. Just I give you five minutes with me to give you a brief idea about this plant, the virus plant, and how we can make all this paper behind me like that from this plant. So that's the virus plant. Ancient Egyptian discovered it on the river banks 5,000 years ago. They worshipped it because of tourism. Spills of flowers like that. Looks like sun rays. Symbol of God, Amun Ra, God of the Sun. And we rule it by that. All of you, USA? Mm -hmm. Yes, look at this. Water now, how it now became what? Strong and flexible. And horizontal way, waving together like that. Between two pieces of carpets or cotton. Then we bought it all under this machine. We call it press. How many days? 12 days. After 12 days, what can we get? We get something like paper like that. Very strong like that and very flexible. As you see, please, no chemical material, no glue. All the steps by step by step. About if I wash this paper and water, same one. Look at this. Usually, when you wash in the paper, water, crack, or damage. Watch now what we have. See? See what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. What do you say? See now. Pretty ring. It's a jealous husband. See? Can you see any crack in the damage inside? Nothing. It stays the same. If you wash in water, it doesn't matter. Look. Wow. Stronger, flexible. Now we're in Saqqara, right? I think so. So we're going to see a tomb, go up a really, really old pyramid, even before Pyramids of Giza, and look at hieroglyphics. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty, 
2400 BC. Oh, oh, this is real hieroglyphics right here. You will never see a job. Original color. They are all fruits, vegetables, animals, birds, things like that. In reality, what do they put the offering? They put the two separate foods. One for dry offerings and one for wet offerings. So they don't spoil the shop. We go all the way here with the cobras like that, wow. making an inner called called the Hepset Court, which was a festival in ancient Egypt like Jubilees of nowadays. So I passed out on the way home, and even though I knew I shouldn't because I had an early wake up, so then I woke up at like 9 o'clock, and then I was like, okay, let me put this luggage together because we have to drop it off early. So went to bed by like 9.30. Woke up at 2.15. Yeah. I managed to do my makeup a little bit, though. <laughs> and shower, which is a lot. <laughs> so we're going to head down to the lobby. Our tour bus is going to come and get us and give us a box breakfast. And then we're heading to the airport. And then we're headed to Aswan, where we'll take the Nile River cruise. So yesterday I told you we went to an, an actual excursion called Saqqara. I thought that was like a boat tour thing. It wasn't. It was just to the oldest pyramid that they have, which was before the Great Pyramids of Giza. And that was really cool because it was like seeing the really, really old stuff. And it had actual hieroglyphics and paintings on the inside where the one in um, the, P the Pyramids of Giza did not have anything on the inside. So that was really interesting seeing how the walls were covered with this text that was like from 2300 BC or something crazy like that. So I'm surprised that he's not dead. Are you tired? No, I'm good. Yeah, Adrian was up. Um, he just fell asleep after I woke up. Like, we rotated, and then he woke up early while I slept in to um, upload some pictures of Facebook, which I need to upload some stuff to Instagram. But I don't even know what the hotel Wi Fi is here. I don't even know if oh, it's yeah, free. We need to check that. I, didn't, I don't even know. So, yay! Day four or five, or one of these days. Is it Friday? Thursday? What day? I think it's Thursday. No, it's Friday. It's Friday. Friday here, so yeah. Thursday home. Yeah. So we got here on Wednesday. Yeah, it's Friday morning. You're right. So this is technically day three. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see y'all on the bus or the airport, one of those. Bye-bye. So this is our box breakfast. It's huge. You see how big this is? Look, here's my cell phone. <laughs> okay. So what do we have inside? Open this up. Bam! It's like a picnic lunch. Let's see, we got. They always give us so much bread. That's a lot. Like two rolls, a croissant, no, a muffin. Boiled egg, two, more two more big rolls with meat in them. This apple and banana thing. Is that like a thing here? Because at lunch yesterday they gave us a dessert and it was an apple and banana, but I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Juice, jams. And um, yogurt, which feels kind of warm, <laughs> and two boiled eggs. So, I mean, it's a good breakfast. It's definitely better than like some continental in the U.S. <laughs> So we're off to Aswan, one hour flight from Cairo. We're going to go on our now river cruise and visit um, some stuff. <laughs> I think he's at a dam, a little bit dam. And uh, 
What medium? Antiquities. So, I have to think that's what you're doing. So, it's pretty early in the morning. What time is it? Like 5.30, 5.45. So, um, then it's an hour bus ride from Aswan to the Nile River. The cruise. So, we will see you in the cruise ship or on Aswan. than you would think it would be. It's part of the Nile. It, it flows through here. Tell us water in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleepy. What'd you say? I'm sleepy. He's sleepy. I tried, I tried to, to um, not fall asleep while he was talking, but... What the heck was calling on me? I'm mad. No hustle, no hustle, no hustle. Oh, that's funny. He said no hustle. No hustle. No hustle. Mask, lady, mask. No be a mask. We are on the boat. A little bit cramped in here. Oh, smells like gas. Now I think we're going to a temple on an island. It's a loud engine. This is Dile Temple. Beautiful. It's on an island, but it was moved from its original island because of the water, threat of water damage. Look at these drawings on the, the carvings on the temple. I don't watch where I'm going because I'm going to trip on these stones. ancient Egypt, it used to have a huge wooden door to protect it, and there would be another door here. This part is called the first opening. Of course, his son will grow up to take revenge of his uncle Seth. Come inside the room here, father. Let the group goes out first. Okay, so we made it on the cruise ship, so this is Aswan, and we're on... Um, it's a cruise ship on the Nile, so let me show you the room really quickly. It's small, but it's cute. It's actually nicer like than the Carnival Cruise. So here's the bathroom. We've got like cutting this nice dark wood. Toilet keeps rolling for some reason. And then full length mirrors. And unfortunately, they had gave us two beds. So my husband went to go request that we get a room with one bed. I don't know if they're going to put the bed together or not. But this is the room, so you can kind of see it in the mirror. Okay. okay, plan B, we switched rooms. So hubby switched us to a one with um, one bed, which is great because we're married. Why are we going to sleep in two, two singles for three nights? So we have lunch at 1230. Let me tell you about today. <laughs> OMG. Okay, so today was crazy. Um, so like I said, we woke up at 2 a.m. because we had to be downstairs by like 3 because we had to leave for a 3.30 by 3.30 for a 5.45 a.m. flight. Okay, so fine, whatever. I know it's early, but... We get to Aswan, and then I was surprised because we went on two little tours, two excursions, even though it was such an early morning. So we went to the dam, and then we went to this island for um, Isis, the god, female god. Really amazing temple. And then, this when drama started to happen. So 
You're supposed to leave at like 10 a.m. so that we could head over to this river boat cruise on the Nile. But first off, one lady like sprained her ankle because it was like old steps, you know, it's like truly like old flooring everywhere, uneven steps. So she twisted her ankle even though he warned us like multiple times to watch her step. So she couldn't hardly get anywhere, like they had to carry her, like they put her on a chair and like four Egyptian men had to carry her back on the boat and everything. Um, I was kind of like, ooh, that sucks, you know? But then, the worst was, we were on the boat, and here in Egypt it's really crazy with driving, like, th though there are driving lanes, people don't follow them, they just like, so if it's a two lanes, they'll have like three cars in a two lane, because people don't follow the lanes, they just drive wherever there's room, and that usually means just kind of sharing one lane. So that was kind of like how it was with the boat. So it was like kind of a little bit of a not nice boat. Um, it was like, um, there are, all of us were on board, like 34 of, of us, we took every single seat on the boat. Like an open boat. Um, and then I noticed as we were kind of pulling up to like the little makeshift dock area, there was another boat coming in that was also small at the same time and I was, they were kind of clanking and I was like, I was told my husband, dang, they drive boats just like they drive cars here. Like, people shouldn't be going in at the same time. And that's when the drama happened. So one of the guys on the tour, apparently he had his hand, like, kind of like this. Like, on a, he was holding onto the rail. And then when the boat, other boat came in, I guess his finger got caught. And then first people were like, his whole, his whole finger came off. I was like, my God. And it was like commotion. Like, we were like, what's going on? So... His whole finger didn't come off, but apparently, like, the flesh and skin came off the top to the point where his bone was exposed. And all I know is that my husband was like, I saw them pick something up. I don't know if that was his finger. And then it was just like, what, what, what's going on? What's going on? So, yeah, so they had it, um, we got off the boat and he, then they laid him on the dock and he was just, like, lying there. And I was not trying to crowd him because I, need, I gave him a space, but, like, people were all like, what, what, what? And the boat driver was this young guy, and he looked traumatized. But it just looks really like I didn't didn't see any hospitals or anything like that. So um, if they, well, they got him on an ambulance, and I mean, he said he wasn't gonna do anything like press charges or anything because he said that he he was like, oh, I was being stupid. The tour, tour guide said, oh, do you want to press charges? He's like, no, I was being stupid, and you know, blah blah blah. So I was like. Some of the people on our tour are very, like, trying to be nice. They're just super old and picky, and they're, like, not trying to have it. So luckily, he was the one who got his finger smashed because it was one of the older, older ladies on the tour. They were being having a fit. But anyway, that was really traumatized after that guy's finger because that was, like, could have been one of us easily. So after that, now I'm going to be really careful. I don't want to lose any toes or fall and twist my ankle. So we were set up, we were like an hour behind, I think, because of that. Trying to figure out what to do. So eventually we got, the bus took us to the um, cruise ship area. So now we're on board and we're having lunch at 1230. So I'm assuming because this is like a cruise ship, maybe. I don't know if it's an all-inclusive like carnival kind of cruise where they include your tour. I mean, they include food and all that, but we'll see. I'm hungry, though, because we had breakfast at, like, 3.30 this morning. <laughs> so, um, it's, like, about to be 12.30, and, like, they gave us this huge box lunch at the Marriott. So, a lot of us just kind of, um, it was a box breakfast. A lot of us kind of, like, packed the extra pastries in our bags, and I'm glad I did that. Because I kind of ate that, um, as well along the way but I need like meat and something like it's not like a like a pastry so we're gonna have lunch and I feel crazy today like it's just been a stressful day I like really felt bad for that guy like I was like traumatized so hopefully he'll be back on the cruise ship and everything as well I don't know what I would have done if that was my husband who got his finger pinched like that because he had his son with him, so luckily he had somebody with him because some of the people on this tour are by themselves, so. Anyways, I'm feeling a little bit tired and kind of out of it. Um, 
Half the other group took a tour where they paid like three thirty-five to go to Abu Simbel, which is like another place where it's like this cave and it's something like I guess it's some kind of like historical thing in a cave. But yet they had to fly to get a, another internal domestic flight to, to get there, and I was like, I'm good on that. <laughs> I'll just come back to the, the ship and have my lunch and just relax, and then we have dinner tonight as well. So it's gonna be like a resting afternoon, evening. Maybe we'll go to the gym after we have a nap. I'm still trying to get my 20,000 steps in today, so. It's been a lot though, like this tour has not been easy, and like, like I said, most of the people on this tour are like senior citizens, with, they look like they kinda are in pain, cause it's like a lot of walking, a lot of uneven climbing up Pyramids crouching like a hundred feet, um, squatting down, darkness, like it's been a lot, so. But I'm glad I've been doing my little workouts before this because I would have been hurting if I wasn't used to it, so. Anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for lunch and I'll see y'all later. Okay, right, so here's the appetizer. A lot of We're at lunch. I got some Egyptian wine. Well, if you walk out of the I'm boat, you kind of go straight up no. to the street. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken, no, apple cider right. chicken, it's apple cider vinegar. Yeah, this is Moroccan beef. It's, it's like a pyramid or something. And you did yeah. that? Uh, and then they wash you okay. with all your uh -huh. dirty skin. are on our cruise ship on the Nile. So let's take a look outside. It's, the ship's going really slow. It's not like our cruise ship where, you know, they're trying to hustle to another island. So isn't this beautiful? It's just so calm and relaxing. This is the Nile. What is that right there? It's a little hut. I mean, not a hut, like a houseboat. So... Yesterday we slept through dinner because we were so tired. And then we woke up, had a drink at the bar. We had a mojito, but it was it was not a mojito. It was like a whole bunch of lime with soda <laughs> and mint. And it didn't really taste like mojito, so eh. But um, we missed dinner, but the bartender was really nice and he gave us some like cookies and chips and cheese and vegetables that he had behind the bar, like some appetizers. And then we came back here, fell asleep, woke up again at like 2.30 in the morning. So our sleeping got messed up today because we were so tired yesterday. And you know when you sleep, before you're supposed to go to sleep, it kind of messes you up. So we've been up since 2.30. It's about almost 6 o'clock. So no, it's almost 7 o'clock. So took a shower, had to wash my hair, and then we're going to head to breakfast. So... um breakfast from 7 to 8 and then we're headed to Edfu, E-D-F-U, which is where we'll visit another site today. Um, we'll depart from the river cruise and then head out. So it's exciting to see a whole another city. This is the third city. So we were in Cairo, um, Aswan, and now we're headed to Edfu. So we'll see how that goes and I'll take y'all with me. This is amazing. Wow. I bet you this is so old. Kamumbo. Kamumbo. Don't use that foreign language on me. I thought it would turn you on. <laughs> so we are on um, Kamumbo at a temple. Got to see it. Got to pay attention because I don't want to twist an ankle like a lady did on our last excursion. The Adrian already. Christina, how come you're in every one of my Oh, the temple has vultures, can you see them? Yeah. Still with remains of color on them. To protect yeah. you when you walk inside. We're on a horse and carriage and at food. This shit is crazy. It was a little chaotic getting off, but we're on. Oh, you guys can't get me later, aren't you? I know how this works. Yeah, 
We made it. Okay, so this is a temple. This looks like something I saw in the Ten Commandments, the movie by Cecil B. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't it? I think that's what Maybe they, they, yeah. We are forced by lead of copper that when it's closed it will be very difficult to open. But the temple is complete here, so that's the only thing that can give you one thing that can give you. So if you look at the um, carvings, you'll see that a lot of the faces are scratched out. So that's because Christians came by and they pretty much defaced a lot of the figures. Like they're everywhere. And that's because they believe they were taking magic away from the carvings. Um, and it's sad because like a lot of them you can't see the faces anymore, but you can see the faces down here though. Pretty interesting, huh?